Alright. Lesson learned today. Lesson learned today. You almost see what the lesson is? I'm going to teach you all a lesson today. You know how they say, every day you learn something new, it's true. Oh, it's so damn true. Never. I think this was my mom's favorite. So this is a dedication to my mom. I guess it's peace. Patricia May Carney. Never put this in the refrigerator. <laughs> I found out. This goes with pressure. This goes with pressure. And it won't be no pressure if it's you solid cold. Protect your engine for one year. Just one oil change. Okay. Amazing. It is amazing. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can you change the oil change? So yeah, never put this in the refrigerator. Even if you open it. He says it right there. No refrigeration needed. See that? You do not have to put this in the refrigerator. Okay. Chicken in the basket. Chicken in the basket. Chicken in the basket. Chicken in the basket. Y'all probably saying, why did you get crackers when you got crackers? These are special crackers. Why do you got to make kids adult food? You know what I mean? See, now look at it. See, again. See, this is what happens. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Do y'all hate that when that happens? Because of their sacrifice. And it spits right down the fucking middle, all the way down to the fucking bottom, and then you can't use the fucking bag? God damn it, that pisses me off. God damn that pisses me off. General Norman Schwarzkopf. You know, that shit pisses me off. Anyhow, anywho, this is how I do it. You take a little chicken basket here, put a little bit of cheese on there like this, just like that, a little bit. Dip around. Dip around. Yum, yum. Great hardship, so we might know opportunity. The ultimate price. Oh, there's something missing. No Guess what it is? General George S. Guess what it is? It is foolish and wrong. You need one more. Rather, we should thank God for men with. We see these soldiers in our minds. Yeah. The wives. We see them as something like the founding fathers, gray and gray hair. But most of them were boys when they died. And they gave up two lives. The one they were living, and the one they would have lived. From the Tet Offensive to Turok. Perryville to Pearl Harbor. D-Day to Desert Storm. Their sacrifice has paved the way for the spirit and strength of our great nation to flourish. Today, we reflect. Today, we remember. Today, we say thank you.
guessed it right. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Good old Corona. Ah. Oh. Happy fucking Tuesday, bitches. Yeah, I took today off. So fucking what? I had to shit. I had to shit and I was up all night. I didn't want to look at the time. By the time I got up to blast the shit out, squirt the shit out, pissing out my asshole, pissing out my asshole. Yeah, that's what I was doing last night. What's that 20 bottle of food? But anyhow, anyhow, it must be like 15, 20 minutes later, the goddamn alarm went off. You don't like that it is. My goddamn nerves. My fucking nerves. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Reese and the Miz. Guys, I know it's Memorial Day, but it feels like Christmas. We're kicking raw off with the A-list couple, Miz and Maurice. And ladies and gentlemen, this time... My goddamn seven, nerves are shot. How do y'all feel? Looking to prove it to being kicked out of your own house. I'm fucking flipping out. <laughs> Dean Ambrose, but a big caveat, Corey, in this matchup. If Dean Ambrose gets disqualified, he will lose the match and the Intercontinental Championship. That little granny from Milwaukee. Her name's Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Are you trying to eat your troubles away? Yes. Better than drinking, right? Welcome to the most must see WWE talk show in history. Better than Welcome drinking. Miss TV. And I gotta say, the it couple, we're feeling good. Like, we're feeling really Have any that come back down and walk and live with y'all, huh? <laughs> and this Sunday, I get my hands on Dean Ambrose, especially, no, don't cheer him. He is a lying, backstabbing, cheating thief who stole my Intercontinental Championship. Two weeks ago, I earned an opportunity to challenge him for the Intercontinental Championship, and he intentionally disqualified himself. So I did what any one of you would do. I went to the general manager, Kurt Angle, and I demanded another match. Yeah. I demanded another match, but I didn't just want to. You know, if I quit my job, I care, man. You know your opponent is because of harassment. a habitual rule breaker. Yeah. You know those people. Yeah. The people rules were meant for, like Dean Ambrose. Yeah. I made sure Fuck that the slugs at me. was if he gets disqualified at extreme Now they'll call me a fucking he snitch. He will lose his title. And all they do is give me shit about fucking being the victim. And if you don't think Every happen, fucking day, and I'm, I made a video about it. I'm really getting sick about it. I'm really, I'm ready to fucking snap, man. I shouldn't even be going to work because the way I'm feeling right now, I'm just gonna fucking snap on somebody big fucking time and then lose my job. I'm gonna get them all for harassment. That's my plan. They better fucking back off and leave me alone. I'm a walking time bomb right now. Brilliant maneuver by the Miz and the sore loser Dean Ambrose yep. attempted to attack the Lister. Thankfully, I can only handle so much. No one fucks with the Hungarian, okay? Enough is enough. We're talking about fucking my place of living. 
You're not going to fucking tease me about it? I automatically. I got a guy at work. He tried to put shove his fist down my throat for giving him shit about drinking water. But it's okay that he calls me a fucking snitch and giving me shit about fucking going to court and I'm gonna fucking lose. I'm gonna fucking lose everything. I'm gonna be fucking homeless. He he he. Ha ha ha. Uh, you know, I'm ready to fucking quit. I'm really getting sick of the harassment. Every grown slug daddy. I got hit six fucking times. When I asked him to stop, he was like, fuck you, Carl. They lucked we ain't in Milwaukee because that be, should be stopped before they even hit the fucking bathroom. Real quick. First fucking slug. You throw something at somebody else. Go ahead, try it. Throw one at Scott Boyd one. Yeah, try it, motherfucker. Or motherfuckers. Try it. Throw a goddamn slug at Scott Boyd see if you don't get fired. Maybe you can put a rest there. That's salt and battery. I'm really getting sick of it, man. They think it's a goddamn joke. I hope the right person is watching this right now. You know, the thing is, uh, I talked about this last week, who's just going to play in favor the most? And I say, you look at the blackboard, I've got my money on Seamus and Cesaro, they're bigger, they're stronger. I think they're more hungrier than uh, the Hardy Boys. Actually, I think they got a today was the best fucking day ever. They ain't dealing with the shit. I got enough fucking problems. Maybe I should take tomorrow off, too. No two superstars in the WWE the league is definitely have worked harder see, than tomorrow you two. I'm supposed to be out of here. No two superstars in <laughs> the WWE, of course, <laughs> to become well, I think I fucking champion. care. You two have scratched, I really don't fucking you care. Have your way I can just start smashing up everything right fucking now. Let's so just go fucking gonzo. For the Hardy huh? boys. What do I got to lose? Nothing. To show up unannounced, get handed enough. This shit here is all materialized. Feel your spotlight. Material. Yeah, you know. Like Madonna. Really Material. A shameful thing. That's all this shit is. Material. Material ain't nothing. Material can be replaced. Look at all these people turned their back. My best friend Cesaro and the Hardy Boys showed up. I mean, like, what? Mm. You see that, miss? That's what I'm talking about. They got no loyalty. They're not loyal to anybody. They're fickle. They're all about the new thing, the new toy. Well, guess what? Me and Cesaro. We're going to break that new toy, Extreme Rules, and win back our Raw Tag Team Championships. Oh, this is so good. You know, you guys are so much... It don't like take me. much to impress me. You guys have been victimized you know? by all these people. They don't see the greatness that is in this when, ring. When you start throwing shit at me, Understand. start hurting me, I will ignore him. Because I'm better than them. That does not mean to keep doing that and throw him harder. And that's what they were doing. So I wasn't told. Championship, something, and it needs to rise. The title needs a comeback. That's why, after Extreme Rules, the Miz needs to they lucky I ain't got a fucking gun. We'll begin headlining arenas. They, they'll be dealt with. Pow, pow. Oh, that's right. But throwing slugs is just a throwing fucking bullets, man. They fucking hurt. And there is the Intercontinental Champion, the 
Actually, I believe that's, that's a felony. Projectile. Missile launching the object. Attempt to hurt. Attempt to harm. What if they take out my fucking eye? Go right through my fucking glasses and take out my eye. Oh, that's funny! Ha ha! Oh, I got them! That fucking man got them! I got him! Look at him! His eyeball came out! Ha ha! Ha ha! That's goddamn funny! Ha! That's goddamn funny! Say, that's the shit that makes you want to smash everything. That's shit that makes me want to smash every fucking thing. Let's go fucking gonzo. What? Again. I'm the better man. I'm the better man. Like I said, I'm ready to fucking quit. And turn him in for fucking harassment. I already made a complaint. To the upper management. I gotta make a complaint them calling me a fucking snitch. These people think they can do whatever they want. But I get accused of harassment for doing like this. And giving guy shit about, wow, you drink a lot of water. And he just fucking snap on me. Like a fucking chicken time bomb. We got a moment here, guys. Things are even. And the Hardy boys and Threaten you to slam his fist on my fucking throat. Try it, motherfucker. So end up in fucking prison. Yeah. And now Seamus is his own kick out of the way. Hopefully somebody gets it on fucking YouTube. The Chapman standing tall. An explosive start to Monday Night Raw. It's going to be something Sunday at Extreme Rules, but Monday Night Raw is just... And then they're, they're talking about... That if you do that, what gets you for uh, illegal taping? What the fuck ever? I'm fucking taping for my own safety. Shit's got to be fucking changed there real quick. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers think they can hurt people and get away with it. Ha ha, it's funny, it's laughing. Ha ha, it's laughing. It's laughing. It's funny. Ha ha, I hit him. Ha ha, you see that? I hit him. Ha ha ha. Menard Steel Roofing is Energy Star rated and will stand up against the harshest elements. Available in two multi-tone architectural colors, only 460 a linear foot. Right now, save on a new Larson Storm Door with over 100 different models, sizes, and color combinations to choose from. Get the full view of the Storm Door for only $218. Or check out this new Storm Door for $239. Look at me. Now, during Menard's big sale, see big money and money. I'm way better than them. Way better. Here along the hall, it delivers the whole mouth of the... And it does. That's it. That's how I see it. They need to go to jail. Maybe prison.
Raw impromptu six-man tag team matchup made by general manager Kurt Angle during the commercial break. The Hardy Boys and Dean Ambrose together on one team against the Miz and Sheamus and Cesaro. Not that let them sit 24 hours. By the Hardys. Here's the cover by Jeff mm -hmm. and Cesaro and a kick out. Oh, I forgot to show it to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, on Sunday on the WWE hmm. Network, the Hardys defend against Sheamus and Cesaro, the tag team titles. Inside. Yeah, they harass me about my food at E. Cool. I went car. I went beat that shit to my fucking dog. That looks like something like my fucking dog puked up. What the fuck ever? He's going to keep fucking harassing me. You see something bad about their boys, I'm going to tell you to fuck off. See, they're taking advantage of me because I'm a nice guy. That's what they're doing. Let's pick on the nice guy. But he's nice. He ain't going to do nothing. What do you want to do? You want to stop it? You want to call it up? I mean, Sunday's only, what, six days away? Seamus saying the WWE fans are fickle. They have no loyalty, hence the reason that they are supporting the Hardy Boys. Well, I used to get picked on by his kid in school, Randy Setter. I beat the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. You know what? He never turned me in, because you know why? He fucking deserved it. Even the gym teacher, Mr. Sulu, Mr. Solo, told him, leave Carl alone. I'm telling you the last fucking time, leave Carl alone. When he hurt your ass, I'm not going to stop him. And he did it. He sat there and watched me. Y'all remember what King Kong did to that dinosaur? Just fucking... That's what I did. I am 15, 20 times before I stopped. I just fucking seen red. And everybody cheered me out because they knew he deserved it. Nobody else fucked with me. I was a big boy. Oh, that's why he fucked with me, because I'm a big boy. That's why he fucked with me, because I'm a big boy. Let's fuck with the big guy. Oh, oh, that's it, yeah. You take out the biggest guy in the bar, you're going to be the badass. Uh, that don't work with me. Y'all going to get hurt. Oh, that's what they, uh, that's what they want. Yeah, they're setting me up. Hey, I told you I'm fucking smart. <laughs> they set me up. Tell me what what y'all think. And now they're calling me a snitch. I'm supposed to let them hurt me? These motherfuckers need a fucking get get a fucking uh, a lesson. Yeah, karma will get them. I believe in karma. I even yelled it out to him. Karma! Believe in fucking karma. When something bad happens to you, you think about me, alright? I went back to work. That just makes it matter. And throw more slugs. Oh, did he just threaten me? Honkies are fucking in your act. I don't consider myself a honky. I'm a Hungarian. A little black girl said to me, what's a Hungarian? Uh, we kind of like Spanish people. She says, what do you mean? I said, we speak a different language. She already speak Hungarian to me. I go, Bosh Makula. She says, what the hell was that? I go, kiss my ass in Hungarian. Damn, I like Hungarians. Damn, shit, y'all got your own language? Damn. All of would be exhausted by now. There we go. Now, if my guy was me, no, it would even happen. My dad was big. Do y'all think I'm big? I'm just a little boy. You can my boss said like he was my if size when he was age 12. So probably with so my dad too. Here, but, but I think my dad, my dad was bigger than my boss. Because you put this my dad was near. six foot three, three hundred and fifty pounds. 
Y'all want to fuck with him? His hands were three inches bigger than mine and three inches wider than mine. See how big my hand is? That is three inches longer and three inches wider. That's a big fucking hand. When he played hardball, you know, baseball, but hardball, he didn't use gloves, they didn't fit. You know, the pitchers, mitt, whatever, he didn't use that. They didn't fit. His hands were fucking mints. When he jumped up in the air and grabbed that hard ball, we are playing with the urge, baseball. When they see my dad jump up in the air and grab that ball out of the fucking sky and held it like this, says, y'all out. Both bases were loaded. It's there. And they're like, damn. They still talk about that. They still talk about that shit. Yeah. Him and my uncle didn't get along. Because my uncle was heard that rest the speech with him. Rest in peace. Russ Erd thought he was the man. This was his land, this was his house, his horses, everything. All his. He's the man. Okay. Well, my dad saying that uh, he's the fucking man no matter where he is. No matter where the fuck he is, or what the fuck he's doing, he's the fucking man. And not too many people fucked with my dad. Not too many at all. And we are back live on Monday Night Raw six man tag team action representing two huge matches from the Extreme Rules pay per view. This TBA. Think you're tough? Come on. You're like, whoa, what the fuck is that? Finger Paul, come on. Finger Paul. Come on, finger Paul. What? Finger Paul. Grab my finger. I guess. You pull me, I pull you. Snapped her finger every fucking time. Every fucking time. He snapped her fucking finger every fucking time. Yank him across the fucking room. Go next. They all backed away. He go back and drink his beer. Y'all know how kids are. Bet my dad can beat up your daddy. Every time they saw my dad, they all ran. Damn, he looks scary. He looks mean. He was. He's the fucking guy ever, ever, man. My dad used to fuck with me a lot. When wrestling and shit, when he watched wrestling, he'd do his shit on me. My mom would get out of his ass about it. Uh, he was what? I'm making him talk. Yeah, he did. He made me talk. I can take fucking pain. I can take more fucking pain than probably anybody around. I cut my arm off with a chainsaw. What have you done lately? What have you done for me lately? Ooh, uh. <laughs> What have you done for me lately? Ooh, uh. Alright. Ambrose in deep trouble looking to make a tag. 
this Sunday. We'll find out for sure. Ambrose said he's a little bit eccentric. He's a little unusual, but he is not stupid. Ambrose trying to make it in the corner, trying to make a tag to both Matt and Jeff Hardy. Did Dean get there? Now look at the Miz on the outside. Great awareness of the situation. And Miz then drawing Matt off the apron as well. That allows the tag to Sheamus. Ambrose had nobody to tag thanks to the Miz. And now Sheamus with Ambrose on his shoulders looking for some white noise action. And the double team. Cover by Sheamus. Is it enough? And a kick out of two. I can tell you, all these guys are going to Sheamus is all over the Miz. They got a plan, guys. And I think their plan is all about something that how we can win. Yeah, and it's about building momentum here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And Sheamus cannot believe Ambrose is able to kick out of that double team. You know, and I think opposite of the other team, I don't think, you know, the Hardy boys quite thought this team helped. Shane's shoulder right to the midsection. WWE fans trying to will Ambrose and the Hardys on. 